Good day, everyone. I am Evangelist Mrs. Naomi Ego. A gospel music minister based in those states. I heard about the death of Osina Chi on Friday. I didn't really take it serious because I was asking God why. Such a voice. Pastor God at this time. I thought it all. But this morning, when I opened my phone, I saw that she died in the house of a brutless, a heartless, and a wicked husband. A crown that God gave to her, to him, he abused it. And my heart is bleeding. Why will you see that she die in such a way? Why? The Bible did not call us to be foolish. The word of God says we should be as wise as a serpent and as harmless as a dove. She belonged to a Bible-believing church. She did not understand the mind of God concerning her. She allowed this wicked husband to brutalize her to death. When the world needed her most, I know she's home to be with her maker. But my heart is bleeding. I have to share this person with the whole world. Whatever you are passing through, there is a helper by your side. A close mouth is a close destiny. I don't know why Sister Osina decided to get quiet. But the husband said that one any grief at the age of 42. I never had it such a way in my heart. My heart is bleeding. She had friends, she had colleagues. Why did she not speak out? The secrecy that my sister kept was so much, and it is not the will of God for her. Even God Himself told us to speak to His ears. Now, whatever He hears us say is what He will do. There are counselors that God has placed. In the multitude of counsel, there is safety. She would have run to safety in the hands of men and women that God has planted. I'm using the opportunity to talk to you over there. Christianity is not stupidity. Religion is not stupidity. God is a God of wisdom. He said in every problem, he will make a way of escape. My sister that is in a marriage where you are being abused by your husband, or you are a man that your wife is the junior sister of Jezebel, Please speak out before you die. It's not time for Sister Sinachi to go. That vision was cautious because our sister did not apply wisdom. Proverbs 4 for 7 tells us wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all your, in all your get is get understanding. She was a blessing to a man who did not appreciate her. I came out this morning with tears all over me. I could not keep it because when I saw all that she went through on the internet, many people are there to have cancelled her, but she decided to close her closed lips. My friend, I'm appealing to you this morning, don't keep quiet. Too. Don't die in your silence and don't cut short your vision. She says, let soldier of Christ who went to the street to allow her to be killed by a wicked man who never appreciated good things. And I know tomorrow that man will go to God and beg for forgiveness and God will forgive him. But what about a life that has been cut short? A beautiful life. What about the children? What happens to them? Because our sister took it to the extreme. In this era of internet, you could not make a video and tell the whole world what you are passing through. It's not of that is happening. Please speak out. Speak out too. It's not the way of God for you to die now. Don't say because I'm a Christian. Your husband is abusing you. You are passing through issues that you cannot handle. I have a message for you. There are counselors around. My mom gave us room to go for counsel. In the multitude of counsel, there's safety. Somebody is there to counsel you. It pains me so deep in my heart 
Now, South Sinatra decided to go this way. It's such a painful thing. I cannot conceal it. I don't do videos. But this morning, I'm led to tell the whole world. You may be the next victim. It's not a matter of joke. It's no issue of joke. You don't have to laugh over it. Check your life. You are a child of God. You are a minister. And things are not right. Go to a fellow minister. Say cancer. There are godly men and women who can give you godly cancer. There are pastors that God has ordained that can cancel you with the word of God. If sisters are taking cancer from great servants of God that are available in the house, though they should not be dead, will not be mourning her. It's a pity. I know her own has gained, but she has not finished her work. I don't know her facially. I don't know her person, but her soul's minister to me. This is a, a word of message from Naomi again, telling you that today, don't die in silence. Whatever is your problem, speak out. The word is there. People are there to help you. Instead of going down early, cancer will stop it. And you will live to actualize purpose. I pray that God will bless you. And may God accept that soul. And that man will not go punished. God will surely punish that man. God will pay back according to his coin. He will not go punished for saying that he does not care to an enemy grave. The God of justice will visit you and pay you back in your own coin. You are wicked, you are heartless, you are evil. God will judge you and pay you back in your own coin. God bless you. May the soul of our sister rest in peace.